Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be another mascara comparison. You guys know I like to do these little comparison reviews. And we are comparing the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara with the new Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Mascara. Lash Sensational Luscious is kind of hard for me to say. It's like a big old tongue twister. We're just going to call this the Luscious one or the new one. And this one is the old one. So I've had the original mascara for a long time. It's been one of my favorite mascaras for probably about a year, a year and a half. And this is a tried and true for me. So today we are going to compare these and see which one is better. So both of these are about $8.99. I'm on the Ulta website right now and they're both $8.99. I know at Walmart you can get the original for like $5.94. That's how much it was last time I picked it up. So I'm not really sure how much this one is at other places. One of the first differences I noticed is that the formula is a little bit different. It's not one of those things where they just changed up the wand and called it something new. The new one, the Luscious Mascara, is actually infused with oil. Um, but it doesn't say what oil it is. It just says precious oil infused formula so I'm not really sure if it's coconut oil macadamia who knows so um, from what I've read the original is not infused with oil so that's the first difference so the second difference I see is in the wands they are quite different here is the original Lash Sensational. So as you can see, it does have a curved wand. And I really do like the wand because I really do feel like it just grasps onto the lashes really, really well. And it just kind of helps keep a curl in a way. And then here is the new one. It's kind of got that weird kind of pointy hourglass shape where it's a little bit thicker at the bottom and then it kind of comes up to a point. Yeah, the wands are definitely different. So as far as the claims go, they both claim to give you that full fanned out kind of like false lash effect. Now on to the big question, which one do I like better? Are they both good? Like I said, I have been using the original one for a very long time. I love the effect that this one gives. It gives you such a beautiful, separated, voluminous, lengthened, false lash effect and I really can get my lashes to look really really big with this. I just picked this up so it is new so the formula is a lot more wet than what it is usually because when it dries out it's absolutely amazing and that's when I love it. Right now I'm having to work with it a little bit so it's a little more wet it's a little bit harder to build up. So now on to the Luscious Mascara. It's a very very wet formula that could be because it's fairly new and I haven't used it a whole lot because I just don't really like it right now and maybe if it dries out it may be better but right now it's just a really wet formula and it's really hard to build without getting clumpy. It's a lot like the L'Oreal Miss Mega Rock Mascara, which I love as a mascara topper. So like I'll apply something like this mascara, the original, and then I'll put on the L'Oreal Miss Mega Rock and it just kind of pumps up the volume. So I don't really like the L'Oreal one on its own and that's kind of how I feel about this one too. On its own, it just clumps up way too much. You can't really build it up. I usually like to go in for two layers just to give me really big lashes. I find that two layers is just way too much for this one and one is just not enough for me. So yeah, I don't have any mascara on today. I'm going to apply both of these to both my eyes. So I'm going to go in with the original one on this side and then the new luscious one on this side. Another thing I like about this wand is that when you pull it out, not too much product comes off on the wand. It's not too clumpy or anything. It's just a good amount of product. And also I have curl my lashes. And another thing I really love about this wand is that where it's not too big and it's curved, it's really nice to get behind your lashes and it doesn't get all over your eyelid or anything. So that's always a plus because I do like to go behind my lashes sometimes just to kind of plump up the volume. Okay, so there is one layer. And for some reason, this lash has just been like wonky lately. Like they want to just go every which way and not up. So yeah, this eye is not a good model for this mascara, but um, it is a little bit harder to work with, like I said, where it's a little more wet right now, but when it dries out, it's a lot better. But it does build on itself very, very well. And I did get a little bit of eyeliner on my lashes, so it kind of makes them a little bit more sticky, so it usually applies a lot easier. So yeah, one layer is not bad at all. I would be perfectly okay with this, but I gotta do it for the sake of my OCD. So I'm gonna put in, I'm just kidding, I'm not really OCD. I'm gonna go in with a second layer and just show you guys how it builds on itself. So now I'm all done with this side and I put some on the lower lashes too. And I also really love this wand for the lower lashes as well because where it's not too big and it's curved, it just fits right on the lashes so perfectly. So there is two layers. I really do like it and it's a little bit more clumpy today because that eyeliner is all over my lashes right now. So now I'm going to go ahead and go in with this new mascara on this side. And just like the original mascara, when you pull it out, not too much product comes off on the wand. So it's not super clumpy as soon as you pull it out. Ugh. Apparently, I just can't put eyeliner on anymore. Oh my god, I have an eyelash just like growing down. What the heck? Hey 
Okay, so there is one layer, and please excuse this mangy eyelash right here that's just sticking out. So one layer of this mascara actually looks pretty good. Um, I will say that this one is not as separating as the original formula over here, and these over here are a little bit more clumped at the root, so I do like that effect that it gives. I really do like when the lashes are clumped at the root and not the ends. But I'm going to show you guys the second layer. I mean, I would be completely okay with this. Like, this is fine with me, but I find that two layers with mascaras always makes them, like, more lengthening. So, I am going to go in with the second layer just to show you guys what I'm talking about. So, it's a little bit harder to put on the lower lashes. The wand is just a little bit too big. And plus, I think I have some product on my lower lashes as well. So, they just want to clump together. But I'm just going to take my lash comb and just comb those out. So if you hear popping, that's my grill going. So here is the eye with the new mascara on. And I don't know if it's just where it's drying out, but this wasn't as wet and it wasn't as hard to apply. Um, as you can see, this side is a lot more separated than the new mascara sides. So yeah, the original formula is a lot more separating than the new formula. But honestly, I mean, I like both sides, but the Luscious mascara, the new one, actually... It looks pretty good. Um, I've had a problem with it for the past few weeks. I don't know if it's just where it's new and it's really, really wet right now. And maybe it's just where it's drying out and it just, it would clump so bad. But today I didn't really have a problem with it. Right now I am pretty satisfied with this look. But I will tell you guys what I have been using it for. If it is a little bit too much for you and if you do find it clumpy. I've actually really been liking it for using on top of other mascaras so say i'd use the original mascara and then i'd go in for the second layer and use this one so i kind of use it the same way i do the l'oreal miss mega rock mascara where i don't really like it on its own but i like it as a topper but right now this looks hella good i'm pretty i'm pretty satisfied it doesn't look too clumpy or anything like it's not something i can just like go in and like pull out with my fingers like the little clumps or whatever so neither of these mascaras flake or smudge on me they're both really long wearing and i find that's how it is with maybelline mascaras across the board and both of these formulas are extremely black especially the new one i find that it's a really rich jet black formula and i do have the blackest black shade in both of these but you know how some black mascaras just aren't very bold or anything i find that both of these especially the new one is very very rich and it's very very black so yeah overall which one do i like better right now like just going on what it looks like right now i really do like the new formula um because this one is still pretty wet so i should have let it dry out for a little bit but i just got it a few days ago so yeah if you get this new one and you find this really clumpy and really wet just give it a little bit give it about two or three weeks and it'll dry out and it'll be a whole lot better because i didn't have any of the problems that i mentioned before with this so yeah right now the new one is my favorite but this is still it's my holy grail. I do think the original is better for the lower lashes than this one, but it doesn't really matter for me anyway because I use a different mascara for the lower lashes. So, yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys like mascara comparison reviews, then give this video a thumbs up. If you like comparison reviews in general, just give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know which side you like better. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. All the links are below. And if you're interested in this eye look and what's on the rest of my face, I did do a tutorial. I don't know what's going to come up first, but I will link it below. And in a card up here in the video, if you guys are interested, when it does come out, it'll be up there. So, I hope you guys have an absolutely beautiful day. Mwah!